Hello everyone and welcome back to Memflow Applied and in this episode we will continue where we left things off and that is filtering off all the reads once again to make sure that we can rescan memory and find all our matches that we're looking for. So yeah, well, let's get started. It would probably be nice to print out the matches after scan. So let's just create this function, which will be print matches. Let's just have it like print matches value scanner and will be pubfn print matches. The reason we're making public functions because maybe later we might want to create this into a library of sorts, including the command line interface. So just having them public, those are public interfaces pretty much. It's just cool. Why not? And value scanner, value scanner. And this will be it. And it will be print matches. We've still got this 96. You scan for I64, 96. Still got, we still got eight matches now. And if we do I64, 95, it doesn't change anything because we're not in a rescan phase. Print matches needs to accept a few things, and that will be type name. And basically, what we're gonna do is type name equals P. Here we go. And matches is gonna have the if let some. Hmm. Perform a scan first, and R resets it, resets it, and it also resets the type name. And afterwards, what we're gonna have, one last thing, we want to pass in optional type name. Okay. Parse input. We're gonna change this function definition to like this. It equals if we let if let some equals opt type name. If if we have optional type name passed through, we re just return uh input input t. There we go. Print matches and it will be a t. Uh, and it will be the type, type name, ring, reference. Oh wait, we can just have it as str. We just need to borrow this and borrow this. And we move the type name over here. Here we go. Now if we've started P, perform a scan first. Reset, resets it. And I64, 95, got matches, 14 matches this time around. If we press P, it says perform a scan first, which is not cool. Oh, because it needs to be over here. Here we go. Now it should be better. P, perform a scan first. I64, 95. We've got matches. P, we've got matches. Reset. Got this. P, perform a scan first. Q, quits. Voila. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Now what we need to do is actually just print out the matches. Do reads for a particular match. That will be a function called print value, and it will be buffer of u8 slice and type name of str. And what we're gonna do is basically just print out the value match type name. We're gonna do right here, and that will be book. And we're just gonna do print. We obviously want to like change this to a proper macro. Uh, SDR U sixteen. 
be print string from UTF-16 lossy. I-64, it will be print I-64 from native Indian bytes. And the thing is try into. And I-32. And what we need is use try into. All right, scratch UTF-16. We will need to do that later. And There we go. We need print matches to also pass in buffer length of view size. Print matches needs a buffer length and buff len equals buff dot len. And let me buff then equals zero. Here we go. And print matches. Yes, yes, yes. We've got the buff length, and we're gonna do something called buff equals length zero buff then ah. Uh, all right, and we're gonna do print matches. It's gonna need virtman. And we're gonna do vert mem vert row into all right we just need to swap the arguments right here and we borrow it here expected four arguments and it's gonna be process vert mem process vert Mem. Here we go. And once we have that, what we're basically gonna do is print this. This is address. Print value. And that will be buffer and type name, which will be type name. And it will be print line. Once that's done, Let's see, the moment of truth, I-64, 95, we've got the matches, and if we press enter it, it's going to go down to 94, here we go, <laughs> we've got our 94, voila, so now we've got the match printing, this is not ideal, this is not ideal. For instance, print value would ideally accept the formatter, like accept the formatter and we would print value implemented somehow in here. Well, we, we can actually do that. And that would be string. And we just return it like this. And right here, and we turn it this thing. Return a sum, sum, sum. Will be to string. Here we go. Once that's done, all we need to do is just pass like this. And uh, we just fail to parse. Type. Okay, or here we go. Here we go. All right. Basically, what we have here is our good old struct binary, which allows us to change the access count and the money value, and it's very, very good and dandy. And basically, we have this, and we just basically scan for I64 94, and we find some matches. We update it 
and we print the matches and we've got this one. So basically what we're gonna add is rescanning where we type in 93 and it's gonna rescan and it's gonna print them out and just gonna print out just that one match for us and it's gonna be really good. So we go to value scanner. We have everything set up here, which is scan for and value scanner. We just need to go to this L statement, which by the way, to remind you, uh, first of all, if there is if there are any matches, it's gonna go into this mode, search for mem maps, uh, and do all that stuff and it initialize the match list. And if we do have any matches, we're going to basically look through them instead and make sure that everything matches perfectly. And um, basically, we're gonna create a really, really naive solution, I'd say. Oh, we're just gonna go and go through for that's just address and use size. What's it? What's the use size value? Oh, it's the mem map. Oh, uh, we're just gonna go through matches for a in self dot matches, and we're gonna borrow this immediately. And we're just gonna create the buffer equals vector of zero size data length, and we're just gonna go ahead and call mem dot vert three row into. So we're gonna do matches dot into iterator and let new matches and self dot matches equal new matches. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna consume the original matches list, uh, read filter out which ones still match, and then just create a new a new list of matches, which is new matches. And we do into iter, which consumes uh, this whole vector. And it's going to make it really, really, really solid, I'd say. And we're just going to do virtually draw into, and that will be A. And we just go both well, as mid slice. We go partial result. And we're going to go if both equals data, we're going to just push it to the new matches. New matches dot push A. Uh, it doesn't work because all matches equals we need to do something different oops replace we need to do self dot matches all right this works basically we need to change it from new matches and assign the matches there to creating getting old matches by using std memory replace replace self matches with an empty vector and now we just push self of matches and it works just as expected i'd say and basically we have this we have the money value i64 93 and we have quite a few matches 93 we've still got 10 matches and we're gonna go in 92 and we type in 92 and we've got just one single match how cool is that <laughs> all right so yeah this was the filtering part we can obviously optimize it and we will be optimizing it later on for starters we would probably create a buffer of like the match count and just like read everything at once but in this case i have to say it's like there won't be many million matches unless you scan for a zero byte, then you will have them. But I'd say it's perfectly enough. And for now, let's just keep it like this. And this was filtering. And I'd say this puts us into feature parity with Cheat Engine, which is, well, we don't have replacing of values. Uh, we can add that really easily, I'd say. But we, are, we have a way to filter everything out and have all working thank you everyone for watching this was a rather short episode i mean i don't remember i had like half an hour of content from the last episode and this is just a 10 minute recording so <laughs> we'll see how how long or short the episode turns out and thank you very much for watching i uh, really really appreciate your support it was in the last stream it was so good guys and if you have any suggestions pop them down in the comments below like this video, overflow, overflow that like button, seriously, that helps me tremendously. And 
in the next episode, we will be going into pointer mapping, which is one step towards offset scanning, which is what we're aiming for. That's what we will do in the next episode. And thank you very much for watching. My name was Heap. Yours was undefined. See ya.